All right, so now let's transition to some news that came about on Tuesday afternoon. For those that did not see, uh, Mark Berman of the Roanoke Times did an article on Landers Nolly and Tyrese Radford and kind of just the, their, their time at Virginia Tech. And uh, it was a really good read. You go, go to the end of the article. This is what we're going to focus on. Uh, it was that Landers Nolly's dad was quoted in this RoanokeTimes.com article. Malcolm, the best producer in the land, has already put that article up on our screen for those watching. It's at the end right there. Highlight that, Malcolm. There we go. Uh, so I'll read a, a couple of paragraphs um, leading into it. Nolly's been na uh, named the ACC Freshman of the Week five times, but unlike some other freshmen, Nolly was not included last week in ESPN's latest mocked two-round 2020 NBA draft. Quote, Landers is a pro. At the rate he's going, he won't be back next year. Close quote. That's from Landers Nolly's father. Chris, mm -hmm. what should we make of that quote? Well, he didn't say NBA. He said pro. And these days you can make six figures or seven figures if you're really, really good playing professional basketball overseas. Um, it's not just the ESPN mock draft. Malcolm, it's, leave that up there for now. It's it's I, I, I generally use nbadraft.net, I think is what I use, because it's got – like 70 or 80 mock drafts from all over the place and it averages them all together not what so in their average mock draft he's not listed as being drafted all in the first two rounds so hardly anybody thinks he would get drafted if he came out after this year so um, let's let's read the next two paragraphs nolly said he won't think about the draft until after the season quote if i thought about that then i wouldn't be thinking about the season how we're doing proving people wrong unquote he said he being nolly so Good quote. Yeah. Really good answer. Yeah. He, he turned it right back around on this season and this team. How about that yeah. quote right there? Quote, a lot of things that I still got to show y'all. Close quote from Nolly. Yeah. <laughs> so he's saying the right things. Um, if he were to, to, to uh, uh, leave Virginia Tech after this year, th this would not be a real surprise. You know? Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I, it's one of those, like, like, he shouldn't do it unless he thinks that going overseas for a year – will we'll help better prepare him for the NBA than staying in college for a year. Yeah. Um, or maybe, or you know, maybe even if, and even if you don't make the NBA, you just go right back to Europe or wherever and make your 500 grand or whatever. I mean, that's, that's a pretty nice way to live, I think. But, 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 but we've just gotten the, some of the back channel stuff we've gotten just indicates that, that he's a, he's a shooting star. He won't be here very long. And now that said, um, when I watch him on the court, he does. He seems to really enjoy playing for Virginia Tech. Yeah, he plays hard and, and everything like that. And, and yeah. I, I don't think he's a selfish player. Some people went after him after missing that last shot against. Uh, yeah, he just panicked and made a bad decision. Yeah, but but yeah. I, you know, I I see him passing the ball. Um, you know, he, yeah, he, he had seven assists that game. He has a lot of yeah. assists. He's a pretty good passer. Um, I think. Uh, but I, but I think that he gets along gets along well with his teammates, and he seems to be enjoying himself on the court. I don't think that's it. Yeah. So yeah. So but but that being said, it would not shock me if he did not play basketball yeah. for Virginia Tech next year for whatever reason. And of course, we are seeing on a larger landscape too that a lot of players out of high school now are going overseas. I mean, you've got Lamelo Ball, who's projected to be the number one overall pick. And the upcoming NBA draft playing professionally in Australia right yeah. now. You've had Emmanuel Moutier play overseas and then get drafted. It, you know, this, it, and then it opens that whole can of worms about the one and done. And, and some of these and foreign some of these foreign teams are smart too. I think there was a New Zealand team that signed a guy who was like a top ten prospect coming out of high school last year. They signed him to a two year contract. So if anybody in the in the NBA drafts him. That NBA team basically has to purchase the contract. Got to pay a buyout for, right? for that New Zealand team. So that that New New Zealand team will get a check for like a million bucks, which is huge for them, right? Yeah. From from the NBA team. So uh, so that's a good business decision for somebody like that. And mm. you think about it, man. I'm Eighteen years old. Somebody in Australia, maybe not Australia, because I'm scared of all those poisonous animals and stuff they have. Not me, there, man. Australia like, cool. Like some team in Italy or France, and we're like, man, we'll pay you five hundred grand to come over and pay, play basketball for a year. Heck okay, yeah. instead yeah. of going to college and uh, they make you go to class for a semester to stay eligible for the NCAA tournament, but you have no intention of staying in college for four years, you know what? I'll just go to France. Yeah. That sounds better to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maybe I'll yeah. stay there, too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting discussion. Again, that was an article on RoanokeTimes.com that Mark Berman uh, did on Tyrese Radford and uh, Landers Nolly.